Good morning, listeners and viewers. Welcome to another show, Rhythm of Jamaica, your weekly tourism and a culture train show. How are you doing this morning? Dawn yeah. and I are here. Yes, <laughs> our, certainly our pleasure. Welcome aboard yeah. the train. Culture and tourism train is about to pull out. There you the go. Station. And um, yesterday was Heroes Day. Yesterday was National Heroes Day. Mm -hmm. We're going to be, um, we, there are a lot of Jamaicans who are honored, and we always feel very proud of those persons mm -hmm. who are so recognized by the state. And we heal and, them. And we heal them, yes, <laughs> definitely so. Yeah. So we're going to talk more about that later on, but we're going to go right now into our song of inspiration. Mm -hmm. Call upon him. Call upon him. Stitching. How many times do you have to call upon him? Every day, every <laughs> moment of every day. Yes, yes. So if no other time. It's now. It's now we're gonna call so on him. Stitching. It's gonna take us through this song. Yeah. Call upon him. Yes, Jesus. Yes, Jesus. Wanna be on them like this and say yes, Jesus. Wanna be on them. Yes, Jesus. Yes, Jesus. I am wrong things. Run it. Run it. Jesus Christ is nice and is right. Hey. Call upon him, call upon him, cause of Jesus Christ of the King. Again, me sing, say, call upon him, call upon him, and when you rise up in the morning, and over six, call upon him, cause of Jesus Christ of the King. Let me hear you say, and when you rise up in the morning, some man have just the money in a bank, them depend on worthy vanity and live in a big man's heart. We pray, Jesus Christ, then know what the intention, then remember the whole yeah, then in a big function. We could trouble to them and then in a frustration. Jesus Christ, you're the king, name. Oh, Lord God. Call upon him, call upon him. We have to call upon him. All the time. It's all not optional. the time. All the time. All right. So we are moving into our inspirational story. Yes. For today. And the title of it is It's Never Too Late. If I say that we are all fans of the delicious food at the KFCs. It would still be true. Such is the popularity and taste of the fried chicken at the KFC restaurants. It stands as the second largest restaurant chain in the world after McDonald's. The story of how KFC has achieved its name, fame, and reach is a great inspiration. The man behind this great success has gone through several hard times throughout his life. His story tells us that success will knock the door at any time in our lives, and it is never too late. Colonel Harlan Sanders is the man behind the Kentucky Fried Chicken. He has failed umpteen times before he established this lip-smacking fried chicken. Colonel Harlan left his education at his seventh grade at the age of 40. He decided to start his own restaurant, but failed miserably. The Great Depression and many other factors provided hindrance to his attempts. He discovered the recipe of pressure fried chicken pieces, which are different from the usual deep fried chicken. Sanders' recipe uses 11 special herbs and spices for the chicken. 
He launched his franchise after 1,009 failed attempts at a restaurant in Utah. Mm. Soon the recipe reached millions of hearts through their taste. As they say, the food is the way to a person's heart. In the middle of the 1960s, Kentucky Fried Chicken grew into a chain of restaurants in different countries like Canada, the United Kingdom, Mexico, and Jamaica. Colonel Harno Harlan Sanders established the headquarters of his franchise in Louisiana, Kentucky, later. Today, his face is known throughout the world as the logo of KFC. His estimated fortune is about $2 million. Colonel Harlan Sanders is an embodiment of perseverance. His story sets an example to never give up. And it's never too late for success to come to our doorstep. The moral of this story is, this inspirational story about hard times tells us that it can be never too late to try, fail, and succeed in life. You know, there are two things that stand out for me. Mm -hmm. The first is that he made 1000 and, and nine. nine. Look here. <laughs> I don't know how many of us would have gone ten times, but just a thousand and nine, nine times. That's a lot of times, you know. Of course. Mm -hmm. And he did that after age 60. Mm -hmm. It's not too late. And as Never long as we have life. life. Yeah? Mm -hmm. As long as we're alive and we can move around and we can think, there's an opportunity. We should persevere. This is tough. And keep our heads up. And keep our heads up and see now, <laughs> 60 or 50 odd years later, yeah. KFC's, so his heirs and his successors are benefiting from all of this. It is amazing. Never give up. We need to keep encouraged and shine head, you know? <laughs> Encourages us to strive. strive. Yeah. This yeah. is just a summary. We've got of to what strive. we all got to do. Mm -hmm. We have to strive. We owe that to ourselves. We owe that to ourselves to strive. Mm -hmm. Yes. Because all right. It's never too late. So in a few moments, we'll be playing Strive for You. But as you said, Shirley, yesterday was National Heroes Day. Mm -hmm. Yeah. How did you spend your day, though? Quiet at home. Me too. Yeah, one of those days. Yeah, it wasn't a swinging from this chandelier day for me. Uh, it's a lockdown too, so you know, it, it was quiet. I, I did some work and um, yeah. housework and work work. Yeah. You know, I was on a computer doing some work. But in looking at the national heroes, I, I want us to look at them in two groups. Okay. The heroes in the fight for freedom, mm -hmm. which is Nanny, Queen of the Maroons. Right. Marcus Garvey. Who instilled with black pride, mm -hmm. Samuel Sharp, who fought against slavery, mm -hmm. Paul Bogle, who was the champion of the poor, yeah. and George William Gordon, who was an advocate for the poor. Mm -hmm. And you know, something that's interesting before we move on to the other heroes. Yeah. When you look at the last three, when you look at Sam Sharp, mm -hmm. Paul Bogle, yes. George William Gordon, they yes. were Baptists, deacons. And the Baptist was very, very instrumental in the fight against slavery. Mm -hmm. And the most prominent of all of them, of course, was um, Reverend William Nib, who was from Kettering in England and settled in Kingston first at Calabar. And then he came down, was teaching there. And then he came down to the Trelawney set up shop in um, Duncan's, mm -hmm. which he named Kettering after where he came from. So, um, you know, the Baptists were very, very instrumental in the fight against slavery. And it's not surprising that Sam Sharp and Paul Bogle, we're going to talk about them more. And then we have the Heroes of the New Jamaica, mm -hmm. which is Sir Alexander Bustamante. Of the New Jamaica. Of the New Jamaica. So later on, we're going to say And Norman say Washington the Manley, the New Jamaica, mm -hmm. which was the Jamaica that led us um, towards independence. So Norman Washington Manley was premier in 1944 after we gained um, 
adult united universal adult suffrage. suffrage. And then later down when Bustamante, after the whole, you know, the Froome strike, his whole work with the union movement and workers' rights and so on, mm -hmm. then he um, became the first prime minister. He became prime minister after our independence. So it is, um, well, you know, it is not surprising that, um, well, you know, Bustamante and Manley were first cousins. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and, and the disappointment yeah. of Manley when he didn't get... Yes, mm -hmm. but can, did, did you know that um, the both of them had formed the PNP first? Mm -hmm. And then Bustamante broke away and formed the Jamaica yeah. Labour Party. Yes. So um, when we look at these heroes, let us look at Marcus Garvey. He was born in St. Anne. I'm sure the St. Anne people will be very proud. <laughs> the fact that he was born in St. Anne's Bay. And um, he called for the improvement and unification of all blacks through the United Negro Improvement Association, the UNIA. Mm -hmm. And he did a lot of work in the United States where I think the UNIA is even still active there. And he bought the Black Star Line, which are ships that were supposed to facilitate trade between Africa and the di African diaspora. Mm -hmm. um, then we have Nanny, who was queen of the Maroons. Nanny was royalty in, in, in Ghana before she was brought here. And so it's no surprise that she and her brother, Kodja, who were also royalty, were not prepared to put up with all that was going Why on. Not? Yeah, they, she, and she had mystical powers, they say. The people in Nanny Town, they call her, um, the Maroons, they call her Granny Nanny mm -hmm. because she was close to their heart. So when her brother signed the peace treaty in a compound town, they, she did not sign a peace treaty at all with the British. Mm -hmm. She opted not to. And then we have Paul Bogle, who was born in Stony Gut, who lived in Stony Gut, St. Thomas, and he led the Moran Bay Rebellion. And, you know, it's amazing. As a result of the rebellion, so many things happened. Because up to that time, people, the, the, the leaders of the various parishes had a lot of power. Mm -hmm. And um, when the rebellion took place, the English government felt, or the British government felt that maybe they need to change how they do things in Jamaica. Mm -hmm. So we had 22 parishes up to that time. 22. 22 parishes. And they reduced them to what we have 14 now. parishes 14. that we have today. So there are some of us who live in some places that we didn't know was actually a parish. For example, Vera was a parish. Vera. And Ali was a capital. <laughs> and Ali was a capital. And St. Dorothy <laughs> in St. Yes. Catherine was a parish. And Old Harbour was a capital. Mm -hmm. You know? When you look so, at how the map was at that time, yes. it was so di much different there, from how it is Because St. David, St. George's came together to form One Portland. You still, you still hear about St. George's Football Club. Yes. <laughs> so there's some remnants. Okay, you know, but yes. a lot of persons don't know the history. They don't know the history it. at all. Yeah. Um, Sam Sharp fought against slavery. Of course, he, he lived on it for 31 years before he was hanged as a result. And, you know, people will say that he led this, the, the rebellion. He did not. He led a strike that was supposed to be the day after Christmas. We don't do any work. Yes. But there's a lady that they said, um, Little Touch Hut. Yes. And so the slaves on the other plantation saw the fire and said, okay, rebellion time. Mm -hmm. um, two years ago, I had the privilege of going up to Kensington. Mm -hmm. And um, making the trek down to the area where the estate was not an easy walk. <laughs> <laughs> Two years ago, I had a challenge. I don't know if I can make it this time okay. to do it again. But mm -hmm. it's very interesting to go to that location and to have an idea as to the remoteness of the area. Yes. Um, and that could have existed 200 years ago, how remote the place was. And the fact that um, this is an estate where, where Sam Sharp was you know and of course george william gordon is an advocate for the poor he was a free colored landowner his father was said to be as customer his mother was a former slave woman mm -hmm. and um he he was very instrumental in advocating for the poor he was a member of the house of assembly mm -hmm. and it is actually said that the day when they had the rebellion he was not even out he was at home sick but yet he was accused of being a part of the rebellion. rebellion. 
when you have influence, it's a hell of a thing. Yes, yes, yes. So it's, it can be good and it can be bad. And, you, you know, um, it is actually said that I don't know many persons may not have known of Mr. Kiebelman, mm -hmm. who was a government minister back in the 70s. It is said that he is a descendant of George William Gordon. And even Dr. Carolyn Gomes is said to have been a descendant Senna. also of George William Gordon. And these people have been instrumental, you see, coming down the genealogy, mm -hmm. in defending and, and um, serving people, the people in the country. And of course, it's fitting that George William Gordon would have been remembered in this garden house, um, named after him. Amazing. Yes, so we celebrated the National Heroes this day. Can we find? Um, we're going to be listening to a song now, Strife, and then we're going to go into a patriotic song mm -hmm. about our national heroes. She's gonna start when I was seeing bigger rap, but comedians I will tell you. Bobby Wizard, this make a jump on to this big like this. Tell you about it. Sometimes it's hard, but try and you make it. Leave you me. In order to achieve, go forth and take it. Set yourself. in your way you may fall before you rise but if you really want good your nose up and run so get up and keep your eyes on the prize so as part of your plan you for your ambition and the almighty one has your foundation hey nobody get rich and switch because that's definitely wrong now baby no, don't forget your friends and where you come from if you are tft remember god now sleep and although you rob a man and you get well last week you fall off out the street but your feet and going steep because god is a silent paper and you know they run it throughout history lots of great men and women went about things the old-fashioned way they just kept on winning and winning so strive step up in life and go for what you know you got to Not moved by smart remarks from people who think they're witty. Keep moving on, mind gotta be strong and don't indulge in self pity. But strive, step up in life and go for what you know. You got to strive, remove the Obstacles in your way, you may fall before you rise. But if you really want good, you know it's have to run. So get up and keep your eyes on the prize. And strive, step up in life and go for what you know. You got to History, lots of great men and women went about things the old fashioned way. They just kept on winning and winning. So strive, step up in life and go for what you know. You've got to strive. We 
have to strive we have to remove the doubt and colonel saunders did not doubt one moment mm -hmm. as to whether or not this would become a reality that he would find the right combination <laughs> and it's all in the seasoning 11 spices it's all 11 in the seasoning all right touching back on our national heroes i just want to complete our heroes by looking at of course i mentioned the heroes of new jamaica mm -hmm. and um sir alexander bustamante was born um in in hanover blenheim and um his house you know the area where he was born has become an attraction a heritage site um he was born in 1884 he died in 1977 and he was of course you know the trade union the bustamante industrial trade union named after him because he really stood up and defended the rights of workers. Norman Washington Manley, of course, 1893 to 1969. He was born in Roxburgh, Manchester. He was a lawyer. He was a barrister. He was a you know, sportsman. And he founded the PNP. Um, the new constitution of... He, both himself and Bustamante were instrumental in the new constitution of 1944. That granted a new adult suffrage, mm -hmm. a universal... Adult suffrage, and of course, he was credited as commissioning the road that was built through the Great Morass in the Grill, hence Norman Manley Boulevard, named after him. Mm -hmm. So, we're gonna summarize in a patriotic song, mm -hmm. yes, and it is important for our listeners and our viewers to not think that we can't be heroes. Um, Maya Angelou is somebody who lots of us know. Mm -hmm. And she said here, I think a hero is any person really intent on making this a better place for all people. And they did that. Yes, they did that. They fought. Yeah. And they created a new Jamaica. So anybody can are. continue to do it. We can. <laughs> In our own small way. It doesn't have to be we big. To. <laughs> we all cannot be recognized as national heroes, yes. but we can be heroes in our own way. We can. In our communities, in our parishes, parishes. we can. In it doesn't end with the national heroes who were celebrated mm -hmm. and who were awarded. It doesn't yes. end there. We all won't be awarded. No. So. But we need to. Make our contribution. Definitely so. Good. <laughs> so. All right. Here forward we go. United. Forward <laughs> United. <laughs>
Jamaica United forever. forever. Yeah, Jamaica United forever. And these songs are dying. When I say yeah. I'm dying, it's not. It's, it's dying because, like they say, if love is not growing, it must be dying. Mm -hmm. But if you don't water a plant, it dies. It's going to die. And so that's what we are doing. We are actually watering the things that we forget about, the mm -hmm. people, the aspects of our culture that seem to be forgotten. Yes. Shirley, it is our responsibility to keep it alive. Absolutely. And we're making sure we're doing this program. And we're proud of it. We're proud of the fact that what we have not even heard, maybe some persons have never really heard this song yes. before, is a song that is dedicated to our heroes, mm -hmm. a patriotic song. Yes. So yep. many other things, we're just going to keep it alive as best as we can. So we play our own small part. Our culture. The culture. And it belongs to us. It belongs to us. <laughs> and... None other to be custodians of it but us. Yes. Yeah, so. Time for a break. Time for a break. And then and we'll, we'll come be right back. back. Well, we have a special feature. We always have something special for you. Always. So stay tuned. We just tired of this snow. Look for me, Kiara. We are done. Look for me, Kiara. We need a good weekend. Every day we hear bite is by that. No, 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 we tired of the snow. Oh, brother, no Betsy again, star. We try everything. We go a garage after garage. Then still can't solve the problem. <laughs> hey, brother, you know I got the right garage. You know I got the right place. Where do you talk about? We need fender, rims, engine, and a good mechanic. Oh, you need one stop auto shop. Look no further, man. Check Cecil's Auto Service Limited. Then that tree fish here in a month ago. Cecil's Auto Service Limited, located at Free Fish Lane, Montego Bay. We specialize in all types of vehicles. We rebuild power steering, transmission, gearbox, and tune engines at Cecil's Auto Service. We service fuel injector systems, effect electrical systems, flush transmissions, do body repairs, paint jobs, and much more. Call us today at 876-952-0708, 876-407-9298, or email Cecil's Garage at yahoo.com. Cecil's Auto Service Limited, your one-shop stop for all your automotive needs. Have Call Coromine Plus will remove inflammation from the body. With no inflammation, conditions such as type 2 diabetes, high blood pressure, and high cholesterol cannot stay in the body. Tanquest is a combination of herbs and fruits to remove toxins and pathogens from the body. Tanquest is antifungal, antiviral, and antibacterial. Tanquest will destroy free radicals and make you stronger for longer. Get your Coromine Plus and Tanquest from Have Call Herbs and Extracts. Call them today at 540-8871. That's 540-8871. Prime is Jamaica's number one trend. As we stay apart while working together to fight COVID-19, we must all live good and unite against crime and violence in Jamaica. Live good means talk it out, don't fight it out. We must live good to build a safe Jamaica. Stay home, stay safe, live good. Recovery is a blend of natural herbs, that will allow the brain to recover its peak memory and grant people freedom from various mental conditions such as Parkinson's and Alzheimer's. Acetylcholine is a neuron transmitter in the brain. A fall in its level will cause swinging of the neurons and the brain. Recovery will increase the acetylcholine level, allowing the neurons and the brain to recover. To get your recovery, call Have Go Herbs and Extracts at 876-540-8871. That's 540-8871. We are the heart and the soul of the nation. Ready to serve in any situation. The Jamaica Constabulary Force. Tunisia. There's who we are. Tunisia. There's who we are. Come on, you want people. All 
for one, one for all. Love a go on, so no each make the call. We are sure we protect and we serve. We it in every sense of the word. With minds and hearts together. As a people, we can push past the weather. Cause any troubles in your life won't last forever. Cause if you need an helping hand, just ask me, brother. One, one, nine, be clever. We are the people where shine the light in the dark. You see where evil there. So no keep no secrets. So where you need for say. That's why the Jamaica Constabulary Forces. To help for the community. With arms wide open up again. We are the heart and the soul of the nation, ready to serve in any situation. The Jamaican constabulary force. There's who we are. There's who we are. We are the heart and the soul of the nation. Force, force for good. Brands Landscaping, located in Montego Bay, Jamaica. We specialize in plant sale and rental landscaping design and installation. More and tourism has been with us since the 19th century. Today, tourism is the main foreign exchange earner for Jamaica. As a resilient country, we are bouncing back from the effects of COVID-19. And once again, we open our doors to visitors. Our culture is a huge part of the Jamaican tourism product. And nothing's we have to talk about. So get ready. The culture train and left the station. Indeed, visitors to our island want to learn more about us. And we too need to learn and understand more about our country. Don't you want to become more involved in this great industry? So come in at this tourism and culture train every Tuesday from 10 a.m. to noon right here on more 91.7 FM. Tourism soon swing again. It's a positive vibration. Welcome back. Yeah. You know, um, a couple of weeks ago, when we spoke to to, um, to Tamika Pommels Williams from where? She, at Aras Natango. Ah. She told us that there are some birds mm -hmm. that are residents. They come here, they see here, and they decide to stay. Some of them are migratory, yes, but some of them are resident. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, you have some people who come to Jamaica. And, then, <laughs> and they, they stay. They're like the birds. <laughs> they and stay. they come and they, they stay. The cattle egret is one of them that come here. They, see, they like, they stay. Yeah. And there are some people who come to Jamaica and they are captivated by Jamaica and they make a big, huge, monstrous mark mm -hmm. on Jamaica. You see the words I'm using? Yes. <laughs> um... There's a quotation that Errol Flynn made when he came to Jamaica. It's, this article is called Captivated by Jamaica, coming from Pieces of Jamaica. Mm -hmm. Piece of the Past by the Jamaica Gleaner. Never had I seen a land so beautiful. Everywhere there is a blanket of green so thick that the earth never shows through. And this was when he came, and I'm sure he's speaking particularly of Portland. 
So wrote the handsome movie star after his arrival in Jamaica, courtesy of a 1946 storm. Over the years, the island's compelling natural beauty has caused more than one famous foreigner to put down roots in her tropical self. In addition to Flynn, there were the world-renowned writers, Ian Fleming, creator of the, the, the Bonaire British spy, James Bond, and Noel Coward, playwright, and Bon Vivant, extraordinaire, all three fell victim to Jamaica's dynamic charms, and all three were peers living in Jamaica during the same time period. We're going to be hearing about Noel Coward. Yeah, so a friend of Ian Fleming and Errol Fling, British-born playwright, songwriter, and actor, Noel Coward first visited Jamaica on a, on a two-week holiday in 1944. He was 43 years old, an accomplished playwright with dozens of plays to his credit and an Oscar nomination for Best Writer for the Film in Which We Serve. It's a 1942 film under his belt. Mm -hmm. Coward quickly fell in love with Jamaica and he returned to rent Fleming's Golden Eye in 1948. On that trip, he was determined to claim a piece of his dream island for his own and settled on a slope 10 miles away from GoldenEye with a magical view of the sea. Coward met with an architect and began building his, dream, his Jamaican retreat, the aptly named Blue Harbor. A year later, he returned to his two-story villa, now staffed with a chambermaid, chauffeur, and several gardeners, and boasting a salt water swimming pool at the sea's edge. By the 1950s, when Coward turned his talents to cabaret performances and gained a new generation of admirers, a steady string of guests began to appear. Socialites and dignitaries, writers and actors, including Sir Lawrence Oliver, Vivian Lee, David Nevin, Catherine Hepburn, Mary Martin, Sir John Gilga Gilguide, Claudette Colbert, Alec Guinness, and Patricia Neal, and of course, Earl Flynn and his wife, Patrice Waymore and Ian Fleming. Today, Waymore remembers those times as very relaxed and peaceful, blessedly free from the paparazzi. <laughs> Tired from the constant social whirlwind, Coward soon began to desire a place away from Blue Harbor where he could find peace and quiet. He had already purchased another piece of land located on a hillside known as Lookout, once belonging to the infamous pirate and one-time governor of Jamaica, Sir Henry Morgan some three centuries earlier to pay homage to the lightning bugs of <gasps> Pinewales. I haven't seen those in a while. That covered the grounds of Lookout. Coward renamed the spot Firefly. He built a small house there and used it as his retreat from his original retreat, Blue Harbor. Coward lived most of the year at Firefly where he painted and wrote in peace, comforted by a magnificent panoramic view of the sea. After numerous years of entertaining dignitaries such as Queen, Queen Elizabeth, both on stage and at his Jamaican home, Coward was knighted in 1970. He died at his beloved Firefly in 1973 and is buried there his grave overlooking Blue Harbor. A statue of Coward stands in London's famed Theatre Royal, Noel 
Coward's Blue Harbor is now a privately owned guest house. His Firefly is now operated as a museum by Island Outpost and maintaining Coward's own inimitable style. Mm -hmm. That's his style, and it's giving you a number here to call for, mm -hmm. for more, more information. information. And there are a few additional facts no. about Noel Coward. In um, 1965, he was one of the first men to undergo plastic surgery. Mm -hmm. He turned down the following roles, all of which brought great acclaim to the actors who played them. Professor Higgins in My Fair Lady, which went to Rex Harrison, the King... Um, the King Inn, The King and I, which went to Yohi Brenner, Colonel Nicholson in The Bridge on the River Kwai, which went to Alec Guinness, and Harry Lyme in The Third Man, which went to Orson Welles. Have you ever been to Firefly? Yes. I Firefly have. is amazing. Um, the view is really on a hillside. It overlooks Port Maria. Um, very tranquil. And in addition to the fact that he's buried there, there is a there is a monument to him there that's uh, like an image of him sitting in his chair relaxing on a tree at, at Firefly. And when you look and see these world famous, the Queen stayed at Blue Harbor. You know, it, it's very interesting, very exciting. We're going to be we're going to be listening to a, a song now that is going to um um Express a little bit about us, Jamaica. Jamaica. But Dawn, interesting, interesting. Um, with Noel here, I, I want to go into the plastic surgery part of it. <laughs> it's interesting, but the movie My Fair Lady. It's, I think it's a movie every young lady should watch because it 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 has a message. These these older movies. They have some deeper messages yes. in them, yes. Yes, and uh, I and it's on. I believe it's on YouTube. Should be the full the full movie. Hmm? My fair lady. Okay. I mm -hmm. think the entire movie is on. <laughs> it's <laughs> no, the entire movie is on YouTube, and I think it's black and white. Okay, that's, I think that's so. interesting. But it's something I think every young lady needs to needs to watch. So we're yeah. gonna go into this this song about Jamaica. Yep. And it's it is by Lord Kitchener. Lord Kitchener. And let me just say before we play this song, Lord Kitchener seemed to is a Trinidadian and he went to England during the time of the wind rush. So this song might have, even though he was not from Jamaica, it might have been a reflection of what Jamaicans in the UK were saying when they went there. So Lord Kitchener. It's from their point of view. Sweet Jamaica. Thousands of people are asking me how I spend my time in London City. Thousands of people are asking me how I spend my time in London City. Well, that is a question I cannot answer. I regret the day I left sweet Jamaica. I mean, you would pity my position. Because I nearly die here from starvation, but darling is Jamaica, Jamaica, a heaven and savior, darling Jamaica, Jamaica, we bound to remember. <laughs> Another thing that humbugging me is the food control in London City. They say you must have a ration book before you could put on something to cook. And friends, the weekly ration so small, in a day or two you can sure eat all. So before I suffer, I'm going over for me aki and salt fish in Jamaica. But darling, Jamaica, Jamaica. Ah, we bound to remember, darling, Jamaica, Jamaica, yes, a heaven and savior. During the winter in Great Britain, I miss Jamaica, that happy land. If I had wings like an aeroplane, I would fly to that blessed country again, where you see the sun shining every day and the lovely beach at Montego Bay. These are the things that I remember that urged me to fly back to Jamaica. So, darling, Jamaica, Jamaica. 
Jamaica, we bound to remember, darling, Jamaica, Jamaica, a heaven and savior. Many West Indians are sorry now. They left their country and don't know how. Some left their jobs and their family and determined to come to London City. Well, they are crying, they now regret no kind of employment that they can get. The city of London, they have to roam, and they can't get their passage to go back home. So, darling, Jamaica, Jamaica, we bound to remember, darling, Jamaica, Jamaica, a heaven and savior. <laughs> We exchange places <laughs> because people like now and coward came to Jamaica and our Jamaicans went to England and weren't happy. We we're going through difficult times and want to come back to my Jamaica. And that is the interesting thing about life. Eh? Wherever you go, you 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 um you want to go somewhere else. You want, you want to, to go somewhere else. Somewhere else. Yeah. Um, Errol Flynn is another famous name coming out of Portland, mm -hmm. and he was born in Tasmania in 1909. The boy who would go on to become known the world over as Captain Blood and Robin Hood was once a gold prospector, tobacco plantation manager, and a British government policeman. Once he had established himself as a bona fide Hollywood movie hero in the late 1930s to early 1940s, he also became an international property owner purchasing land in the lush Jamaican town of Port Antonio. Flynn dubbed Port Antonio heaven on earth and brought his third wife, stage and screen actress, Patrice Wymore, to live there with him in the 1950s. They adopted the town as their own and were often seen rafting and hosting party after party. Both were attracted by Port Antonio's simplicity and striking natural beauty. It's a pretty yeah, place. Yeah, but when we're looking at the tourism starting in Port Royal, in Port Antonio, sorry, mm -hmm. we made mention of the fact that um, he would invite the the, the, the the rafters to take his friends rafting on the Rio Grande. And, you know, so here we have Earl Flynn. Now, Flynn was known to frequent local bars and down white rum, sure, and straight like a real Jamaican. Stories about the rockish movie star have become this tough of legend. Flynn driving his Cadillac into a pool without outing, outing his, his cigar. cigar. <laughs> Flynn letting a crocodile loose on the town of Montego Bay. What? Flynn gambling and winning Navy Island. Yes, he did have a serious side and that showed through in the Jamaican investments in the cattle farm and the Tishfield Hotel, mm -hmm. which he hoped would help to stimulate tourism in Port Antonio. Unfortunately, Flynn died in 1959 from heart trouble before he could put any of his plans to develop the Titchfield Hotel or Navy Island into place. In the late 1960s, Titchfield Hotel was destroyed by fire. Today, only the ruins of the great landmark still stand. The government of Jamaica now owns Navy Island. After the death of her charming rogue of a husband, Wymore returned to Hollywood for a brief revival of her career. During which time she appeared in Ocean's Eleven with Frank Sinatra. In 1967, she came back to Jamaica for good and soon became known for her skills in cattle farming. Mm -hmm once even winning the title of champion farmer. Today, she continues to operate Errol Flynn Estates, breeding beef cattle and growing coconuts. In a recent interview, she confided that she is still here because the Jamaica I fell in love with as a young bride still exists in many ways, certainly not all, and it is the pull of the peace and tranquility that keeps me here. The pull. The Notice pull the and words. the tranquility. Yeah. And especially where she is in Portland. Yeah. It has a different feel. If you've been to Portland, 
there's just a different feel to it. And this is where it's not surprising that these guys himself, you know, um, Noel Coward, mm -hmm. and later another time we'll talk about Ian Fleming. Yes. You know, they, they are in the, the fact that they came and they are friends and they decided to stay. They are wealthy people. And that may have contributed to also why that era is pretty much an expensive destination. destination. Portland is a, is a place, it's a getaway. Mm -hmm. It's quiet. Mm -hmm. It's green. Yeah. And and even though you people, I've often heard people say, so why is it that tourism started down there and yet they are so laid back, I don't hear about them. That's the intent. Yes, it needs to stay that way. It's it's that's the intent. Yeah, it needs. It to. was a place of tranquil getaway, rich and famous. Mm -hmm. It has. That's why we have the Ian Fleming Airport. Yeah, that's called balance, Don. Balance. We have to. <laughs> it can't always be about the hustle and the bus. We have to balance. Yes, yeah. and when you go there, you really feel as if you are away from it all. Mm -hmm. You know. Yes. So we're gonna hear a song. Mm -hmm. It's country life. Yeah. Portland Real Country Life. <laughs> country Life. Russ Carby reminding us how country life nice. Born and raised in Kingston City, I'm a youth at all, Kingston was the place to be. Until I found out, I put you in the chimney blind. I get your country bus out of halfway tree. You never know the country bus right so nice. You never know the country bus right so nice. You never know the country bus right so nice. Spam, 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 spam. If you only know me, me catch a country The other a coconut tree Talking to the lady, no sister D She tell me how country life I read You never know the country life was so nice But you never know the country life was so nice it's sweeter than sugar and it's sweeter than spice You never know the country life was so nice when she then she cook dinner for me, no spread food to keep fish and for me. When she introduced me to her family, I got the other daughter and brother shot. You never know the country people so nice. Cause you never know the country people so nice. I'm sweeter than sugar and I'm sweeter than spice. You never know the country people was so nice. Me love Kingston or the Siama. But true crime and violence, he carry bad men. But when I was a boy, it was so nice. But know that I'm a man, you have to come twice. <laughs> country life is really nice. You never know the country life is so nice. You never know the country life is so nice. It's sweeter than sugar and it's sweeter than spice. You never know the country life is so nice. Trafficking is everybody's business. Call 1-888-PROTECT to report suspected cases of child trafficking. The time by the Ministry of National Security is... It's 11 o'clock. Tourism has been with us since the 19th century. Today, tourism is the main foreign exchange earner for Jamaica. 
As a resilient country, we are bouncing back from the effects of COVID-19. And once again, we open our doors to visitors. Our culture is a huge part of the Jamaican tourism product. And nothing's we have to talk about, so get ready. The culture train I left the station. Indeed, visitors to our island want to learn more about us. And we too need to learn and understand more about our country. Don't you want to become more involved in this great industry? So come in at this tourism and culture train every Tuesday from 10 a.m. to noon right here on More 91.7 FM. Tourism soon swing again. It's a positive vibration. Welcome back, welcome back, everybody. Ah, uh, you know, a few weeks ago we spoke to Lord Laro, mm-hmm. and um, he's just one of the many persons from outside the Caribbean mm-hmm. who came to Jamaica and contributed to the development of music. And we want to talk about a gentleman who, alongside a Cuban born Roland Alfonso, Barbadian Jackie Opel and fellow Trinidadians Lynn Tate, Lord Burner, and might I add Lord Laro. Lord Creator was an important and positive outside influence during the early development of the Jamaican music scene. Born Patrick, Kenrick Patrick in San Fernando, Trinidad, Lord Creator moved to Jamaica in 1962 due to the huge popularity he had achieved with the Caribbean smash hit song, Evening News. When it came to singing smooth ballads or letting loose over Calypso or Scare, arrangements he was a cut above and Lord Creator became a much loved performer all over Jamaica and beyond. And ladies and gentlemen, it is my pleasure this morning to welcome to welcome and to Lord. speak with Lord <laughs> Creator. Good yes. morning, Mr. Patrick. Good morning, ma'am. Good morning, Mr. Patrick. <laughs> good. good morning. Welcome. We're not hearing him. Yes, we we're here. We're here. Mm-hmm. Yes. Okay. Good morning, Mr. Patrick. Good morning, dear. How are you this morning, sir? We are so happy to speak with you. I am Dawn. And I'm Sherry um, And Sherry Lee. Both of us are going to be talking to you this morning. We okay. are so delighted to speak with you. Happy to talk to you too. Yes. And I was just reading a little bit about you, that you were born in Trinidad and you came yes. to Jamaica in 1962. I would like you to tell yes. us about uh, what brought you to Jamaica in the first place and what were you doing in Trinidad before you came here? 
Well, in general, I used to sing in the college food tents with people like the Mighty Sparrow Kitchen, you know. And um, when I came to Jamaica, I reached here before, before, before you got independence. I came here in January of 1962. And you got independence in August. Yes. Well, I um, I made a song about about Jamaica getting the independence. Yes. And it became popular overnight. <laughs> I know I that song. I I love it too. It's a very good piece of history. Yes. Um. But I put all I put my audience and I uh, right now I'm not, not so healthy because I'm speaking to you in a week here. But, but thank God for life. Yes. Oh yes, yes. Oh yes. We we are very grateful to God for life and we are grateful. Um, Mr. Patrick, that we have gotten the chance to hear your voice. And that you're still with us. I have always been yeah. a fan of your music. And I, even as a trainer, I use your songs when I'm <laughs> teaching about independence. Yeah. Because your song, that song, and we're going to play it shortly, but that song is a real good, you know, I think you did some research into it because it is telling us how Bustamante and Manley went to England and they came back on two separate planes and you know, they went to Kingston yes, yes, and it's, it's a beautiful song that that was sung. Um, before you came to Jamaica and did that song, um, you had done evening news before, right? Yes, I did that in Incredible <laughs> with the fifth, fifth one by band. And yes. it, it was a really pop, popular song. Yes. Evening news. Yes, evening news. And um it's, I, I think all your songs, and there's another song that you did, um, Kingston Town. Yes, and, um, it was re recorded by uh, UB40 yes. of England, and uh, it, became, it became very popular also. Yes. Um, you, you had, when you did Independent Jamaica, I'm reading an article here. That says when you did independent Jamaica, you did it at Chin's Dinner um, Road um, home. Yeah. In Kingston. That is Randy Chin. Yes. Um, I think last week we did a feature on on um on on Randy Chin. Um, you know the 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 the, the, uh, the label. Yes. That that they had. When I came here, Randy um. He is who should I say this now? He he was not so so popular as yet. Then I made a song for him. Yes. Called uh Independent in Jamaica. Yes. And it became very popular also. Yes. And from there I started to record for him and many others like Sir Cox and Dull. Because they really liked, liked my performances on stage. They loved me on a stage. They loved me on recordings. So that was Jamaica just loved me and I love Jamaica also. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. You know, um, we, we really, really appreciate your contribution to, to our Jamaican music. And I'm, I'm looking at songs, um, apart from Independent Jamaica, Labor of Love and Kingston Town, you yeah. know, that you did as a Trinidadian. And your style of music was welcome and fused very much into our Jamaican music style. It was, there's a place for you. It's not like you came here. And your music was not received. Was well it, it was well received. Yeah, I understand. Yes. Thank you very much. 
And um, we don't want to take up too much more of your time because we know that you are not very well. But yeah. we really appreciate your your time, your, your time mm -hmm. and the strength that you have had to be talking to us. We wish you all the best. We're going to be praying for you. Yeah. Because, you know, but we couldn't allow, we know you are still alive and we don't want to wait until you are gone to be recognizing you on this show. We wanted to let you know that we appreciate your work. We appreciate your music. We love you. And you're talking to someone who for the past years have been using independent Jamaica in, in some of my training sessions when I teach on our Jamaican history yeah. and our culture. Mm -hmm. um, independence, because it's, it's, it's a very good summary of what happened. Now we're going to be playing those songs um, after we finish talking with you. Lord Creator, yes. is, is there anything Hello. you'd like to share with, with, with us? Just, mem uh, just, just memories about your musical journey, that, that high point. Um, I'm not hearing you so well. Okay. Um, we're just saying that um, Shirley was asking if there's anything you want to share with us. Um, before we go, anything you want to say to us um, about your your work well, uh, or your journey? What, the main thing I'd like to say is that I love Jamaica and I know Jamaica loves me too. Yes. And um, I, feel, I feel so happy living in Jamaica. I came here, I got married here, I got children here. My whole life is Jamaica, which I appreciate so much. I just love Jamaica. Yeah. Yes. And we, we love you too. And, and we appreciate you. And, you know, it's Thank amazing you. to see your young picture, the picture that, um, you know, pictures that were taken um, in the days when, you know, in the 1960s and so on, of Lord Creator, you yeah. know? I'm sure you look back with that time with a sense of pride. Yeah. You've done well, Lord Creator. <laughs> <laughs> and feel good. Be proud of yourself and your achievements. I feel you too. Okay, great, great. And we're gonna be we're gonna be ending our show um by by playing um evening news. Mm -hmm. So here we go. You can stay on and listen, and we'll just close off after that. Evening news. If there is sun, if there is rain, I wait each day to hear his sweet refrain. Evening news. My heart goes out to him. Poor little brat in rugged clothes, a charming grin and a dirty buggy nose. Little man, I love to hear him sing. Evening news, a fine evening news. His face is worn. His small feet never wore shoes. Every evening at half past four, he comes calling at my door. Mr. By, what you buy an evening news? His soul, a man is dead. Mama is lonely and sad, so he keeps up his head. Does he know things won't always be sad? Evening news, a fine evening news. He proves the tune to keep away the blues. Mr. Patrick, yes, yes. Lord Creator, my goodness. Smooth, silky voice. We really appreciate you. Thank you. I and appreciate your you too. song is timeless. We're going to be playing some other songs after the interview is done. So we won't, we won't keep it, but I sent the link to, your, to your, your wife's phone so 
she can be able to listen to the rest of the show. If not, you can listen to us on the radio on, on More FM 91.7 because we're going to be playing more of your songs. I can tell you that we're going to be playing Independent Jamaica, Kingston Town, and Golden Love. And we send yeah. love and blessings to you, Lord Creator. Well, I enjoy talking to you so much. We, you know, I really do. We, we enjoy talking to you. We feel like it's an honor and a privilege. I've been trying to find you for a long time, and now I've found you, and we'll be able to talk to you. It's such an honor and such a pleasure. Thank you. Okay, then. Thank you so much, Lord Creator, Mr. Kenrick Patrick our yes. extraordinary entertainer and singer. So we're going to go right now into this independent song that he sang. He has contributed so much to our culture, Don, and uh, even the songs, they tell a story. They tell a story. Listen to evening news. Mm -hmm. <laughs> By just listening to the words of the song, you're able to go back to the time when the song was being sung. Yes, yes. It takes you back in time and it mm -hmm. allows you to understand what was going on at the time. Mm -hmm. And then half past four, come knocking at my door. <laughs> I want to buy my evening news. Yeah. You know? And um, so he, he did have, um, you know, songs that were, were, were he was singing already from, from Trinidad. Yeah. All right, so we're going to be listening to this beautiful piece of history. Yes. Getting their independence and everyone is happy. So I will now tell the story. And please listen carefully. And leave all the for referendum for you to make your own decision. So the people voted wisely. Now everyone is happy that there's no more federation. Now independence is good for the young and the old. Also for me and you. Yes, independence is great for the whole population, including your children too. So I believe that if we try our best, it will be a great success. So let us live in unity for progress and prosperity. Let's go! Independence on Manly went up to England to seek for independence. And although Buster was late, he still attended the conference. Although from two different parties, it was very good to see how these two politicians were shaking hands when they gained victory. Now independence is good for the young and the old, also for me and you. Yes, independence is great for the whole population, including your children too. So I believe that if we try our best, it will be a great success. So let us live in unity for progress and prosperity. Swing it, daddy. <laughs> These two men came from England. They came the very same day. On two different planes that stopped at Montego Bay. They separated back down to Kingston. But still we are very pleased For they got independence So let's rejoice to be the first in the West Indies I had the whole world 
I will give it away just to see the girls I play. When I am king, surely I would need a queen and a palace and a. Kingston Town. Oh my goodness. Such smooth. I like his voice. Keep, oh, he has a lovely voice. And he still has it today. You still hear it in his voice when he talks. You can see that he's still calm tone. Very, very calm. Very, yeah. very calm. Kingston. We're so happy. I can't tell you how happy I am <laughs> that I'm able to speak to Lord Creator. Yeah. And it's the same way, you know, when you've got a chance to speak with Lord Lara, these people are, are, are they're priceless. But we thank God that they're still here, you know, and they're still able to talk to us and we can let them know how much we love and appreciate them and the work that they and have we, done. Yes, we recognize the work they've done. Yeah. So. They're treasures. Golden love. Golden love. <laughs> from Lord Creator. <laughs> It's a blessing well, yeah. when you're able to do what you love to do and what you're talented to do because Lord Creator, it's a musician, he's a singer, and he did well using his talent and contributed well mm -hmm. because we've heard this song over and over again and it doesn't get stale. It doesn't have anything in it that you wouldn't want your children to listen to. Mm -hmm. None of the music. I mean, it's just. <sighs> and these are just a few of the songs that he sang, you know. Just a few of them. Yeah, just a few, and you, you know, there's something about just listening to music and connecting it with the singer. Yes. 
And that's what I've been finding that it's all well and good we hear music. But when you can connect with the originator, when you can speak with the person, especially when they are retired. Yes. Because when they are not having the rotations on radio. Yes. People tend to forget them. Yes. So the, the musicians may not, you know, the DJs may not play the music very often. And if you play it, you hear, or they may not even say it's Lord Creator. They might just play the music. Because we've, we've heard this song quite often. Quite often. But it's not said that it's Lord Creator. Lord Creator, exactly. And to know that he's still with us. You know, we have lost so many of our icons. And um, he's not well now. He's confined to a wheelchair. We know that he has a lot of health challenges. Mm -hmm. But the fact that he was able to talk to us and he's in his right mind. Yes, he, 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 he's not forgetting anything. Yeah, it's just that his speech may not be as fast as he would have been because yeah. of the health challenges that he has. But we, we are so grateful for, for the fact that we can speak to mm -hmm. him and let him know that we appreciate his music. So we're going to take a break now. Mm -hmm. And um, when we get back... Yeah. The teacher, the teacher here, Dawn. <laughs> <laughs> Entertainment. Entertainment. <laughs> she has more to share. We will be sharing much more with you when we come back from the break. <laughs> You're listening to More FM. 91.7 on your dial. We just tired of this snow. Look for me here. You're done. Look for me here. We need a good mechanic. Every day your bike is by that. No, no, no. We tired of this snow. Ah, brother. No Betsy again, star. We try everything. We go a garage after garage. Then still can't solve the problem. <laughs> hey, brother, you know I got the right garage. You know I got the right place. Where do you talk about? Me need fender, rims, engine, and a good mechanic. Oh, you need one stop auto shop. Look no further, man. Check Cecil's Auto Service Limited. Then that tree fish here in a month ago, be it. Cecil's Auto Service Limited, located at Three Fish Lane, Montego Bay. We specialize in all types of vehicles. We rebuild power steering, transmission, gearbox, and tune engines. At Cecil's Auto Service, we service fuel injector systems, effect electrical systems, flush transmissions, do body repairs, paint jobs, and much more. Call us today at 876 952 0708. 876 407-9298 or email Cecil's Garage at yahoo.com. Cecil's Auto Service Limited, your one-shop stop for all your automotive needs. Have Chromine Plus will remove inflammation from the body. With no inflammation, conditions such as type 2 diabetes, high blood pressure, and high cholesterol cannot stay in the body. Tanquest is a combination of herbs and fruits to remove toxins and pathogens from the body. Tanquest is antifungal, antiviral, and antibacterial. Tanquest will destroy free radicals and make you stronger for longer. Get your Chromine Plus and Tanquest from Have Herbs and Extracts. Call them today at 540-8871. That's 540-8871. Prime is Jamaica's number one trip. As we stay apart while working together to fight COVID-19, we must all live good and unite against crime and violence in Jamaica. Live good means talk it out. Don't fight it out. We must live good to build a safe Jamaica. Stay home, stay safe, live good. Recovery is a blend of natural herbs, that will allow the brain to recover its peak memory and grant people freedom from various mental conditions such as Parkinson's and Alzheimer's. Acetylcholine is a neuron transmitter in the brain. A fall in its level will cause swinging of the neurons and the brain. Recovery will increase the acetylcholine level, allowing the neurons and the brain to recover. To get your recovery, call Havco Herbs and Extracts at 876-540-8871. That's 540-8871. We are the heart and the soul of the nation. Ready to serve in any situation. The Jamaica constantly for us. Yes, yes. There's who we are. Yes, yes. There's who we are. All from 
one man for all. No back of hands and no each met the call. We are sure we protect and we serve. Leave it in every sense of the word. With minds and hearts together. As a people, we can push past the weather. Cause any trouble in your life won't last forever. Cause if you need an helping hand, just ask my brother. One, one, nine, be clever. We are the people where shine the light in the dark. You see where evil there. So no keep no secrets. So where you need for say. That's why the Jamaica constabulary forces. To learn for the community. With arms wide open up on you. We are the heart and the soul of the nation, ready to serve in any situation. The Jamaican constabulary force. That's who we are. That's who we are. We are the heart and the soul of the nation. Constabulary Force, a force for good. Brands Landscaping, located in Montego Bay, Jamaica. We specialize in plant sale and rental, landscaping design and installation, mow and pruning, plant treatment and consultation. Call us at 876-495-8548 or email us at ranslandscaping at gmail.com or check us out on IG at ranslandscaping.ja. Rans Landscaping, a touch of nature. Western Jamaica news and views at your fingertips wherever you are in the world. Subscribe now to the Western Miro at epaper.westernmiro.com or get your hard copy every Wednesday and Friday. The Western Miro for Cottage Road, Montego Bay, reflecting the people's news and views. This is a critical time in our nation's history. I want to take this opportunity to commend and thank all the members of the Ministry of National Security team involved in fighting crime and a health epidemic on the front line. The members of the Jamaica Constabulary Force, members of the Jamaica Defense Force, members of the Passport Immigration and Citizens Agency, working with the Ministry of Health in the case of the COVID outbreak, but at all times in the front line defending Jamaicans. I want to pay respect for their professionalism and commitment of the Jamaica Constabulary Force, our premier law enforcement agency, is on the front line at all times in both cases of violence against individuals, communities, and the activities of gangsters throughout Jamaica. I want to recognize the effort they have put on the front line in the area of violence and outbreak of this insidious disease currently with us from COVID-19. I want to express the appreciation of a grateful nation and to thank you from the Ministry of National Security and this government. Your effort is not only laudable, we recognize the sacrifice and taking personal risks and risks which even extended to your family. We recognize the stress it brings on and want to assure you that the Ministry of National Security will in fact provide you with whatever is required for your personal safety. But beyond that, as you continue this struggle to protect our country, I want to express again the appreciation and thanks of a grateful nation. Thank you. You're listening to More FM, 91.7 on your dial. More 917F.
Welcome back, welcome back, <laughs> listeners. Welcome back, viewers. Um, you know, no, we're, we're laughing we, in studio. Yeah, we, we have, our music has come through um, various stages, and especially our popular music was influenced by R&B yes. in um, the United States. Mm -hmm. So we're going to be looking at the rise of duets. Mm -hmm. Yes, Jamaican popular music comes to the fore in twos. One of the significant features of early Jamaican popular music was the prevalence of singing duos, which consisted mainly of two sets, the male and female combination and the all-male combination. This phenomenon emerged at the birth of Jamaica's popular music, which occurred towards the end of the 1950s and continued into the early 1960s. The music associated with it was mainly influenced by American blues and was almost always a combination of slow blues ballads patterned from the doo-wop styles of artists like Shirley and Lee and Marvin and Johnny, Jamaican up-tempo blues, ska, and rock steady. Of the two sets, the all-male combination, though not necessarily more popular, was more predominant. And in this, the first of a two-part series. I will be looking at this set, one of the earliest Jamaican recording to make an impact in this set and perhaps the one that is best remembered by vintage music enthusiasts is Muriel. Not sure if I pronounced it correctly. Yes, Muriel, yes. But the duo, Alton Ellis and Eddie Parkins, that's Alton and Eddie, molded in the duo style. The song literally set the standard by which all other recordings of this type were judged. Alton, who won several contests as a dancer on the Vera John's talent shows of the 1950s, before turning his thoughts to singing, told me in an, ex in an exclusive interview that a friend who lived a few blocks from him on 7th Street in Trenchtown requested that they form a duo since there were so many foreign harmonizing duos around. And that was what was taking the market. Great. And this article is um, coming out of the Jamaican Observer. Right. We want to fast forward to looking at a famous group that came out of the same duet. Mm -hmm. um, but perhaps the most influential and successful male vocal duo in early Jamaican music was the Blues Busters. Mm -hmm. Lloyd Campbell and Philip James, born March 9 and December 31, respectively, in the year 1941. They met at infant school in Montego Bay, sang at school concerts, and later performed together in North Coast nightclubs during their teens, before being brought to Kingston in search of better opportunities by Noel Sims of the groups Collie and Bunny. After recording their first song, Little Velma, for producer Mikey O'Brien in 1960, they made a dramatic entry into Coxon Stables and the self-penned enthralling ballad, There's Always a Sunshine, in 1961. The bulk of the Blues Busters' work was, however, done for producer Byron Lee. Hits such as How Sweet It Is, Soon You'll Be Gone, I Can't Believe Yet You're Gone, Don't Take Your Love Away, I Won't Let You Go and Behold, were all backed by Byron Lee and the Dragoneers. In addition, they became Byron's resident vocalists, which afforded them the opportunity of touring extensively the band during the 1960s and 70s, gaining international recognition and consistent commercial popularity. They both migrated to the United States in the late 1960s and died there, Philip at age 47 and Lloyd at age 50. I just want to say also that they, when, when um, Sam Cooke came to Jamaica, they opened for him. So they got a lot of exposure from working along with Sam Cooke. We're going to be listening to some of the songs. The very first one that was done, Little Vilma, mm -hmm. we're, going to, mm -hmm. we're going to be sharing that one with you now. And then we're going to share a couple other songs from the Blues Busters. I'm never, ever tired of hearing the Blues, the Blues Busters. Busters. We did speak about them a few weeks ago, yes. just in passing. But we just want to spend a little time. Just stop by the station mm -hmm. with them for a while before we go again. <laughs> <laughs> the Blues Busters. 
You know, I'm reading an article from Wikipedia which says that the Blues Busters were most consistently popular Jamaican male duo, as we mentioned before. But interestingly, we spoke about the World Fair some weeks ago that was held in, the, in New York, and it is said that the Blues Busters had performed at the World Fair in 1964. And um, of course, we know that they also worked with, with, with tourists in Kingston on both the North Coast and so on, and their big break had come when they when they opened for Sam Cooke. Um, but I want to mention that they have been recognized by um, the city of Montego Bay. In 2015, Campbell and James were posthumously honored with the keys to the city of Montego Bay by the St. James Parish Council. And I'm really happy that that was done um, in their honor. We're going to move on. Through the influence of Jay, who we've had on the stage. Oh, this program Jay here, Douglas. So, so okay, awkward. okay. Yeah. I know, you know, when we interviewed Jay, he spoke about them, and I know he has a lot of regard for them. Mm -hmm. And the um, just to ensure that they are not forgotten, you know. Mm -hmm. So we're going to be listening to some more of their songs. Behold. <laughs> I never have to 
to really do something in Montego Bay that honors these two people, not just to have their graves, you know, at the Pi River Cemetery, but to do something. To or really, a storyboard, something more exciting. storyboard, something. We just need to have something. We're going to be sharing right. another, a monument or something that educates us and reminds us of these two gentlemen. Um, we're going to be listening to another song from them. There is always sunshine. Yeah. Or now, what do we have on the book? What do we have on the table here? Soon, Soon you'll be gone. another from the blues busters we're going to be treating it to another song from the blues busters their music is amazing you know typical du duet of the time yes influenced a lot by the rhythm and blues that was going on in the in, in new orleans and we see we had our own you know um new orleans style music going on here with all these duets and so on but as we hear the most popular would have been um you know the blues busters so there we go we're gonna be hear another hearing another song from the blues busters i think we're gonna play blues busters every day until they do something about them <laughs> people power right <laughs> Better be aware of what you do. Take care. You know 
what do you say? Cause you know that my love is true. And I won't ever let you go. Cause you know you're my one desire, little girl. You set my soul on fire. And I know no matter where you go. to our next Blues Busters song but just before that we want to say good morning to Cassandra Bennett. Cassandra is a fan of More FM and Cassandra over in New York bless up with yourself Cassandra and we hope all is going well with you and thanks for your support and we also want to hail George Russell he has been tuning in, and you see us laughing in studio. Thank you oh. so much, George, for your lovely <laughs> message. Oh, yes. <laughs> and we, we want to encourage our, our viewers on YouTube that it's exciting when you go on to Morfem's Facebook page and watch us live. Yes. The, yes. the comments are there, and it, it keeps us smiling. And it's a good thing. It's good energy. It's good vibes. Good vibes. Positive vibration. So we're going to now hear your no good. Yeah. By the Blues Busters. Yes. A lovely song. <laughs> I watch you walking down the street, you saying hello to every guy you meet, and you think that you are all oh so fine, trying to tell them that you're still mine, but baby, you're no good for me, baby, you're no good for me, girl, it's plain to see that you're no good for me at all. The other day I called your name It came to me just like a sweet refrain But when I thought of all the things you did I couldn't help but say it again I say, you're no good for me, baby You're no good for me, baby It's plain to see that you're no good for me at all Hey! Buster says you're no good. Yeah, he's talking about again the story about a, a young lady who is proving herself to be no good. But these songs are are, are so beautifully done, and um, we can't help, we can never forget, lest we forget, never forget the contribution of people like these to our music mm -hmm. and to our tourism, because they were on the tourism circuit as well. All right, so. I'm going to be spending a minute or two with my book. We have, have something to tell, tell you. you. And one thing about our dialect is that we have ways of expressing ourselves when we want to communicate certain things. So we want to, to draw attention to someone who has surprised you in how they are dressed. Mm -hmm. So maybe the person was not always a dress up, dress up person. You know what I say a while ago? Dress up, dress up, right? Yes. Repetition. Yes. So that positive connotation. And you see the person say, Kuya, Puskia wear tail. <laughs> Puskia wear tail. Yes, Puskia wear tail. We want to figure out how to perform a task with much trial and error. We say we are baba and weave with it. Mm -hmm. So, someone who does not take foolishly from others and has very high standards, meticulous, and so on, 
we describe them as being comical. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, when we talk about eating, mm -hmm. they have their food, but you don't have a little, you have only a little piece of meat or fish on top of it from the meal. They said, okay, not even like a watchman pan the top. <laughs> the, meat, the meat is a watchman. <sighs> and of course, in some places, food consumed that was prepared the day before, yes. we call that chocolate. Say that again now? Chocolate. Chocolate. Yes. Which is food that was prepared before, like the day before I saw you eating it. So we call it Sunday Monday. So Yes, we mm -hmm. call it Sunday Monday. Right. Now, a boasty person with reference to someone who is a little boasty and, you know, they said, in reference to the, to the game of dominoes, we say have more pools, more than double six. Sure. Yes. Yes. So, yes. 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 Yeah. Now, um, children who are playing inside the house, they want to get them outside. We say what? Guano Tadogo Ramp. And you are threatening the picnic. You say, listen to me. You're not going to like it if I hit you, you know. You say what? If I lick you, you're funny. <laughs> <laughs> a person tends to get creative in preparing a meal or to seek an opportunity. They don't know really what they're going to cook. So they say, may I go up and ask you what we can find something to go and come pan. To go and come pan. Mm -hmm. What they say when we talk about summer salt? What word do you use? Summer, summer salt? It's a kin for <laughs> All right. Now, she, somebody is looking very emaciated or unkempt. We say she look emaciated. Mm -hmm. All right. A loose woman considered to be low class or prostitute. We call them stregging. Mm -hmm. And that is because of how the music had gotten loose at one stage. It wasn't structured. It wasn't, we couldn't figure it out. They say it was stregge music. That's yeah. how the name, Strege they said about. that the name reggae came about. Oh, reggae. Stregge and then reggae. reggae. Mm -hmm. Oh, interesting. Yes. Stregge and reggae. And um, usually said, usually a, a terminal is said to a child who is crying, he or she is being warned to stop crying. Otherwise, more punishment mm -hmm. can be meted out. They said, Tandia Hala. It's going to get something for all of us. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. right, so these are just some of the expressions nice. from my book. We have something to tell you mm -hmm. available on Amazon.com. Yeah, man. And, um, Barnes and Noble. It's, it's right here. We have something to tell you. Yeah, mm -hmm. the book. It's right here. Awesome, and it's, awesome. what, it's just 3500 Jamaican dollars. Jamaican dollars. And it's on the internet. It's yep. on um, Amazon for $22. And... um. <clears throat> it's Christmas is coming up, you know. It's October. October is almost yes. ending. Make sure you give a gift of <clears throat> culture this Christmas. Yes, it's really a good book, and yes. we really should have it in our library. Yes. Really should. Yes. Yeah. So, all right. So, thank you so much for being with us this morning. The culture train is grinding to a halt mm -hmm. at the station. We're back at the station, and mm -hmm. we are about to get off. But it was really a pleasure today. Yes. We, as usual, Don, you always your reservoir of information, <laughs> and we I enjoy the sharing, the caring, yes. the giving, the loving. We spoke with Lord Creator today, and just hearing His voice and feeling His energy, that in itself did something for us oh, yes, today it did. It did. in this it show did. and i'm sure it did something for you too listeners and and viewers and as we go forward remembering that yesterday was hero's day mm -hmm. <clears throat> and remembering the contribution of persons who have done very well in our tourism industry and as as we are cultural people as jamaicans we're ambassadors anywhere we go but as we move forward we mentioned it earlier the importance of us doing what we can, it starts from in our homes, in our houses. It starts from there. <clears throat> and it doesn't matter what is being said, we need to just do good. And it starts from our domestic lives mm -hmm. as it extends out into our communities mm -hmm. and in our parish. Mm -hmm. And it just keeps going out like rays. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And us making a difference it is recognized it may not be recognized immediately but somebody's going to remember as time goes by we just have to be genuine and pure with it yes, yes. so we're sending you a lot of love and a lot of positive vibration 
today and be you are heroes. You are all heroes. Yes. Just do good. Oh Just my God. Good. Good. <laughs> and remember, a tourism yes, and culture, and culture, it's a positive, it's a positive vibration. vibration. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Take care. Good. Thank you for joining us. And we're going to leave you with a lovely song. Okay. Come back next week, Tuesday. Okay. More Same 91.7 time. FM mm-hmm. from 10 a.m. to midday. Mm-hmm. The tourism and uh, culture train. Rhythm yeah. of Jamaica. Now we in a van back, it in a your handbag, your knob sack, it in a your backpack. The smell of the your girlfriend contact some boy, no know this. The only come around like tourists on the beach with a few club sodas, bedtime stories, and pros like them named Chuck Norris. And don't know the real hard pork, sandals and no back to the thugs, them we do where them got to. And voting twice to shut you, don't make them spot you, unless you carry guns and to have your tough thing come at your entrance stone man stop laugh and block off traffic then them we learn pop off and them start clap it with the pin file long and it a be trap it police come in a jeep and them can't stop it some say them a play boy a play boy rabbit Money man a get chop like a bad habit. Some a bad a post off if you don't have it. Last of all, I stand alone. Welcome to Jam Rock. Hey. Welcome to Jam Rock. Out in the street, they call it well. Welcome to Jam Dung. Poor people are dead at random. Political violence can't done. We're ghosts and phantom. The youth them get blind by stardom. Now the king of kings are called. Who will man You're listening to me. More so FM. 91.7 on your Western dial. Western Jamaica news and views at your fingertips wherever you are in the world. Subscribe now to the Western Mural at epaper.westernmural.com or get your hard copy every Wednesday and Friday. The Western Mural, 4 Cottage Road, Montego Bay, reflecting the people's news and views. We just tired of this snow. Look for me, Kiar. We are done. Look for me, Kiar. We need a good mechanic. Every day, we hear by this, by that. Nothing more. No, we tired of the snow. Ah, brother. No Betsy again, star. We try everything. We go a garage after garage, then still can't solve the problem. <laughs> hey, brother, you know I got the right garage. You know I got the right place. Where do you talk about? We need fender, rims, engine, and a good mechanic. Oh, you need one-stop auto shop. Look no further, man. Check Cecil's Auto Service Limited. Then that tree fish here in a Montego Bay. Cecil's Auto Service Limited, located at Three Fish Lane, Montego Bay. We specialize in all types of vehicles. We rebuild power steering, transmission, gearbox, and tune engines. At Cecil's Auto Service, we service fuel injector systems, effect electrical systems, flush transmissions, do body repairs, paint jobs, and much more.